and then also address concerns from some possible deportations, also students, LGBTQ rights, and protecting services for low-income students and students who have special needs. This is not a partisan issue. This is an issue of continuing to assure that students have access to the resources that they are entitled to under the law. And we will continue to do that. And we will work with the members of Congress to ask them to stand and support our students. And if through some set of circumstances, the Department of Education goes away, uh, we are prepared to introduce legislation that would guarantee funding for California schools and California education. We should also mention that Thurmond is among those on the list looking to run for California governor in 2026. President-elect Donald Trump is now responding to the reaction from some California leaders to his win. In a post on social media, he vowed to require voter ID and proof of citizenship in the voting process. He also blasted Governor Gavin Newsom and other state leaders. The president-elect posted he, Gavin Newsom, is using the term Trump proof as a way of stopping all of the great things that can be done to make California great again. But I just overwhelmingly won the election. He goes on to say people are being forced to leave California. California due to his and others insane policy decisions, end quote. Yesterday, Governor Newsom and Attorney General Rob Bonta announced that they are preparing for a series of legal fights with the incoming president. So we asked the moderator of NBC's Meet the Press, Kristen Welker, about these reactions to this week's election. President-elect Trump was out with a statement criticizing Newsom's leadership today. So I think this is going to be a contentious relationship. I wouldn't be surprised by that. There will be times when they need to work together, likely, as well. But look, Governor Gavin Newsom is someone who has his eye on a potential run in 2028. So I wouldn't be surprised if this relationship comes into focus at various times over the next several years. You can watch Meet the Press with Kristen Welker every Sunday morning at 6 right here on KCRA 3. Well, today the Justice Department released information on an Iranian murder-for-hire plot to kill President-elect Donald Trump. According to the criminal complaint, the suspect was instructed this past September to put together a plan to track and then ultimately kill uh, the candidate at the time, Donald Trump. Authorities say that two other men were recruited to execute other uh, people, including uh, a prominent Iranian-American journalist. Those two were arrested. The plot reflects what federal officials have described as ongoing efforts by Iran to target U.S. government officials. Well, a California man who's repeatedly trespassed at Mar-a-Lago is in court today. The man accused of trying to breach security.